Walking away then from the Brisker F1 action to cover the 1300 stock cars British Championship. We've seen these cars on the tarmac earlier this season on Premier Sports at Buxton, Skegness and at Loch Gelly in Scotland. But they're here on the Shale at King's Lynn tonight for their British Championship. Look at the size of that grid. There are 43 cars in this race. This is going to be absolute mayhem. A lot of these drivers are ex-Banger racers as well. AD Wales and uh, the treble four of Natasha Street on the front of the grid. Away we go then with the British Championship for the 1300 stock cars. This car's going into the wall. They haven't even crossed the start line yet. Liam Hard in 747 has spun. He gets ahead on from John Moat in 673. Oh, they're going absolutely everywhere. Sheer mayhem. And these cars in this bunch haven't even crossed the start line yet. My goodness, what a start. This car's going every which way in the early stages of this 1300 stock car. British Championship will try and pick out a leader as best we can in a moment. There's more cars in a rugby scrum going down the home straight. Kevin Sheen in 400 facing the wrong way. That's taken out 713 of uh, Ian Beaumont. There is Beaumont, the yellow car with the plastic duck on the roof as his mascot. Number 22, Ian Cowan, gets spun out by 323 of Sam Rigby. He started dead last on the grid. Steve O'Dell, number 71, ahead of him. His son, Adam, the current world champion, is somewhere down this lineup. But there's your early leader, it's 409, Carl Pears, Carlos as he's known, in the pink 409 Corsa. He leads the way ahead of the 276 car, that's Steve Walden in second place. So the race starting to settle down just a little now after that crazy opening lap from this huge grid of 1300 stock cars. The uh, lightweight hatchbacks uh, made considerably heavier by the armouring you can see on all these cars, it's Carlos Pairs who leads the way, used to race for the famous Stinkbridge team in the National Bangers. He's a couple of car lengths clear of Steve Walden in 276 in second place, lapping 112 Kev Baird. His course are out on the wide line, drivers from all over the UK here to race in this British Championship this weekend. The leader's coming up to lap Dean Whitwell in 377, not to be confused with the Brisker F1 racer of the same name. Bumpers clanging and crashing in. Oh, we've got another pile-up on turn four. Adam O'Dell's in the middle of that lot. Cloud of steam from the 473 car. That's uh, Dean Motes, 22, Ian Cowan facing the wrong way as well. And the leaders involved. Round goes Carlos Pears. He got caught up there with the 60 car of Jack Mayle. Steve Walden's gone as well. So we may well have a new leader. We'll pick up who it is in a moment. But Carl Pears went for a spin there, coming down the home straight he hit the spun car of Jack Mayle and round he went and our new leader I think that was him in the foreground there we'll confirm it in just a moment Ewan Matheson looks like has taken it up in car number 125 at the front of the field we'll have to check with the, the start marshal see who he points to in just a moment there's so much going on around the raceway the leader's a bit lost in the shuffle at the moment waiting for the starter to confirm who is leading and yes he points to the 125 car there the red and blue machine of Ewan Matheson so he leads the way lapping Ian Beaumont in car 713 Ian the duck as he's known you can see his mascot there on the roof next to be lap will be 451 of Jordan Spavins but it's a young Scotsman Ewan Matheson who leads the way are we going to see a surprise of a Scottish victory the tracks of uh, Scotland are all tarmac, so the uh, Scottish drivers don't get many runs on shale. This is a good drive by Ewan Matheson. Normally a blue grader, but the uh, grid for this race was uh, established by a draw. The drivers drawing their positions on the grid. That gave AD Wales and uh, Natasha Streets the front row. They've long since disappeared from the equation. Two cars stranded there on turn two. Curtis Tebenham is one of them in 137. It's still Matheson who leads the way. Out of turn four he comes. He's got a solid wall of back markers ahead of him. Hopefully he'll be able to negotiate those without incident. There's the battle between Beaumont, Spavins and uh, Dean Whitwell. Waiting to confirm who's in second place. We're told it's Mark Bloss, number 371, as the leader hooks a couple of back markers. Stuart Henderson and Liam Hard aside. Is he losing pace there, Ewan Matheson? Looks like he slowed up a bit coming off... Uh, turn four in the middle of this group of back markers now Ewan the young Scott still leads the way there's Mark Bloss number 371 the yellow and blue car I think he's in second place we caught a glimpse of him there 
Out of turn four comes our race leader. Down the home straight to complete another lap. Ewan Matheson. He's got back markers all around him. Here comes Mark Bloss, though. He's catching him in the uh, 371 car. He's going to take the lead. Coming off turn two, he's through. It looks like Ewan Matheson is slowing down. So through comes the 371 car. Mark Bloss into the lead. Lee Pierce fighting his way into second place in the gold. Number 23 car, the former world champion. Title currently held by 171, Adam O'Dell, the world title. He's further down the order. It's 371 Mark Bloss, the yellow and blue Corsa going down the back straight. There he is, attacking Chris Partridge in 47. He now leads the way. Craig Haxted in 67 on his tail, another of our Scots. And then behind him, the gold car there, number 23 of Lee Pierce. Next in the order looks like Jimmy Morris in car 167, X2 litre stock car driver. Craig Haxton pushing Mark Bloss there around turns three and four. Mark won the British Championship some ten years ago, looking to take the title and the black and white chequered roof for the second time in his career. Down the back straight he comes, the laps starting to wind down now. 377 just ahead of the leader, that's Dean Whitwell. The starter signals them through, three laps to run. Paxton up there, I think he's in second place ahead of Lee Pierce and Jimmy Morris. Morris in a Honda Civic, the other cars in the lead of Vauxhall Corsas and Wes Freestone in 340. Sent spinning there by Sam Rigby just in front of the leader who did well to avoid the spinning back marker. Bloss still leads, Paxton, Pierce and Morris behind him. Mark Bloss coming through in 371 from the seventh row of the grid into the lead. Craig Haxton started back on row 12 and Lee Pierce on row 11. They've all come through from the midfield. We go into the last lap now. Craig Haxton attacks the leader coming into turns one and two. Pierce is going to try and get up the inside for second place. He sends Haxton aside. Out goes Craig Haxton. Is Lee Pierce going to take second place? Jimmy Morris on the attack on the final turn, but the British Championship is going to go to. 371 Mark Bloss and Morris gets through for second place with that last bend lunge ahead of Pierce. We'll confirm the full result very shortly. An excellent race there from the little 1300 stock cars. And this man won it. 371 Mark Bloss takes the British Championship for the second time in his career. A fine drive by Mark. Very experienced 1300 stock car racer and he takes the British Championship for 2014. Great stuff from that enormous field of 1,300 stock cars. 43 of them took the green flag. Not many of them have gone the distance, though. Here's the official result, then. 371, Mark Bloss taking the win ahead. Oh, 167, Jimmy Morris getting the second place on the last bend from 23, Lee Pierce. ex bangerman James Ellis to find fourth in 85. Early leader, Ewan Matheson, dropping to fifth. The head of the world champion, Adam O'Dell. His dad, Steve, taking ninth behind Richard Hampshire in 447. Luke Morphy in 121. It was 235, Danny Rayner, who completed the top 10. Let's head down to the pits then and hear from our new champion, Mark Bloss. He's talking to Gary Osborne.